TypeScript already provides some intrinsic types, which allow you to capitalize lowercase or uppercase your string types, but we will add one which is missing the camel case type so that we can change types looking like this to this. So let's get started implementing the type. Before we create the real camel case type, we will create two helper types. The first one is our separator, and this could either contain an underscore or a hyphen, because these are the two separators we want to use to check if you want to uppercase the next letter. So if you have, for example, hello YouTube like this, as soon as we find one of these separators, we want to uppercase in the, the next character. So the next thing we have to do is we have to create a checker, which takes a Boolean and a string and will uppercase the Boolean to um, if the, the check is true, otherwise it will just return the type itself. We will see later why this is really useful. So we create this uppercase, uppercase next here, and we say we have this T where we will pass in the string and we have our check, which extends Boolean like this. And we then say, okay, if this T, if this check here extends true, in this case, we uppercase, we uppercase our type here, Otherwise, we just return the type itself. And now let's get started with the real type. Let's get started with the fun part. We create our camel case type here. Now we need some elements to be passed to it, some generic arguments to be passed to it. What do we need? The first thing, of course, is our input string. So the hello YouTube string in our case. So we will pass in this t extends string. Now the second one we want to pass in is a flag and you could do this differently but I really like this approach because it's easy to understand and easy to work with. So we will pass it in a flag. I call this uppercase next because this flag will set be set to true if we find an underscore or an hyphen and will then be passed to the next recursive call of our camel case to then say to our camel case type, hey, we need to uppercase it. So we say extends boolean and we initialize it at false because to start with, we don't want to uppercase it immediately. And the next one is our save. This is where we will create our new variable type. So we say extends string and we just pass in an empty string to start with. And now let's implement this. The first thing we need to do is we need to know what the first element in our string is. So we say t extends, and then we use our template literals, and we say infer head and infer tail. So I already did a video about infer. You can see it in the, in the info box, and I will also link it in the description. But the important part about what you have to know about infer is we can let TypeScript figure out what type is at this specific location and then store it in a variable here in head and here in tail. Now, the cool part about this is, is that TypeScript sees, okay, I will store only the first letter of the string in this variable here and the remaining part of the string in tail. So when we start with this, H will be the head and the remaining one will be the tail. So what we now can do is we can say, okay, if this T is in this shape of head and tail, we can say, okay, if the head extends separator like this, what we then can do is we just call camel case again with our tail here because we are not interested in calling camel case again with our whole string because then it would be an endless loop. We pass it in our remaining string and now we change our uppercase next to true. So we change this to true because we know the next character we find should be uppercase. And the last element is our safe variable or safe type and we just pass in safe here as it is because we don't want to append anything because currently what we did is we found here okay this is our underscore but we don't want to add this to our final type so we will not add this to our to our new variable name but what is if the head is not a character uh, is not a separator we will also call camel case with the tail and now we set our uppercase next to false because now we are in a state where we will uppercase this first uh, element the head element we found so this happens here if we are here um, after our underscore and we find the next character here the y we will uppercase this but then for the next character, we don't want to uppercase it. We just will uppercase it if we find another underscore. So we just change this to false. And now we can say we have our backticks here again. And now we can append our uppercased head 
to our existing safe variable, to our existing safe type. So we use our curly braces here, have our existing safe, and now we use uppercase next here. We want to just pass in here our head and we want to pass in our uppercase next. And because of this, we don't need to have another nesting of our ternaries because this can also work with what happens if our uppercase next here is currently false. What this now will do is it will recursively call again into our tail and will add another character to our safe string. And but the problem is now what we need to do is also we need to return this if we are at the end of our of our recursion. So as soon as this T here is no longer in this shape, we just want to return the variable save itself because we need something to return when we are done. So let's see if this is working. Let's create like a snake case. And this is hello YouTube. And now let's see we have our type here camel case and we pass in our camel case like this and we pass in snake case. And now we can see here we have Hello YouTube. If I change this here, for example, add also multiple underscores, this still works as expected. If I add something between U and Tube, we can see this works too. But because we are not only using underscore separators, we can also use the hyphens and we can see this works too. So you can see now that this works perfectly fine. We could even add more separators, which we want to replace. For example, if you have other kinds of characters you want to replay, uh, remove and capitalize the next letter, you can easily add this in the separators type and it, this will just be a really, really easy fix. So thank you for watching the video. You can find the code as always on my GitHub, which is linked in the description below. And if you really liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon in the next video.